Hello. Well, um, I'm going to do my best to try and make this as short as possible, but I um, do want to be as um, clear as I can be regarding this um, topic, um, which is, uh, you know, I've talked about on this channel before about making movies and how I've made or I've been helping out make uh, a horror film the past uh, year and um, and how I uh, <clears throat> have written scripts and uh, hope to get those made and uh, I've talked to some people who keep you know, who often talk about Kickstarter, 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 or some sort of a fundraising campaign for money, to raise money and all that and get your movie made. And while it is true there are many people who have been successful at that, um, my issue, I have a couple of things with that. The only issue, the thing is, like, um, before for, like, this current film that I've been helping out with, um, you know, tried the uh, crowdfunding route, um, and, uh, there was some money, you know, there's some stuff that went there, but there's some people, there was like another like, company that came in and helped out and was able to help pull, help pull things together for them, and, um, so there was that, because um, the crap funny thing, like, and I, as I was helping them with it in that, you know, sharing the page everywhere you could, I made a couple of videos talking about it on my channel, which now has actually got uh, gotten over a hundred subscribers, um, even though the channel has been around for, you know, now ten years. Uh, which is really all my fault since I hit for a while I wasn't really consistent until the last few years. But that aside, you know, I'm doing my best to try and promote it, make videos, share that, and which has the links like to the trailer. And uh, at that point, like before the trailer even came out, you know, I didn't make a, a video about that. But I also had like the early on the the. the fundraising uh, page or the campaign page, whatever you want to call it, the crowdfunding, that's what it is. Had that in the description, talked about it, and uh, talked about some of the rewards and one could get, and yeah, uh, didn't really go anywhere. I mean, also, it couldn't really rely a whole lot on my friends in that um, there are friends of mine who will look at it and if they are able to donate, they will. But obviously, you don't have to. Obviously, that's a it's a cho it's a choice. You have the option to or not. Um, and if you choose to, you can donate as little or big as you want. Um, but there weren't as many people, you know, viewing it. There weren't many people also viewing the videos I shared. Like they would get a bunch of likes, you know. Like on Facebook, you know, part of various groups like movie groups and filmmaking and even horror groups, you know, to help because it was a horror movie. It is a horror movie, so that would help. But yeah, uh, when I look at the views for that particular video I made with the dis in the description and uh, to have the link in it. So people could go after watching it and say it sounds interesting and to them from what I had said, and then they click on it. Yeah, yeah, there weren't really many views, like not a whole lot. Um, I think at one point there's like uh, there's like uh, the video had like seven or eight views, and it when I look at the Facebook thing. Like, where I had a lot of views, I'm like, oh, X amount of people, like, 10 people liked it, you know, on Facebook, gave it the thumbs up, and then 
six additional people gave it a, a, a heart or something. So that should be like, oh, 16 people saw this. Well, no, like only seven of them actually took the time to click on the video and look at it. And whether they donated or not, I don't know. Because um, I, I can understand that maybe I'm not the best at uh, talking about stuff like this in terms of uh, uh, trying to get awareness for crowdfunding of a film. I can get that, you know. Also, I'm not the uh, director of it, too. That could also be a problem. I'm like one of the actors and somebody who helps out behind the scenes. And I am enth as enthusiastic as I am, you know, and I, as much as I believe in the movie and want to want it to be as successful as it can be when it's released and trying to promote it as much as I can, which I haven't been doing, but then again, there hasn't been a whole lot going on. Too much to say uh, the last so many months, so I haven't really talked about it that much, but I hope you understand that, you know. Whereas something like a couple of movies I've made, which I could, which are written as a low budget, as r they're written very low budget, and the stories are, I think, are very good. Um, so that could be one thing. Like for my own stuff, I might be a bit more enthusiastic about my stuff that I've written, but I do my best to be as enthusiastic as I actually am and try and show it, but maybe it doesn't come across it. Uh, that way. Um, so, what I'm basically saying is the whole sharing and trying to spread the word out with that thing, with that crowdfunding uh, for that film, it didn't really do a whole lot. It Very few people looked at my video. Very few people, I guess, seemed to watch the video they made when they did that um and i just I, I try to help and be as supportive of it as i can because i wanted to do well and get as much uh, attention to it as i can but i don't know we came to the conclusion that unless you are a huge presence on the internet you have a big following like you're a celebrity, or at the very least, um, an internet celebrity, or something like that. For and you want to crowdfund a film or something. Unless you're gonna, unless you're somebody like that, you, you, you're. Especially where we are, like in Iowa, you're not gonna really, get, I guess, really gain a whole big uh, crowd of people to go to this crowdfunding site, look at it, and donate. Doesn't matter how great of a video you can make, and it's great and all that you can do for rewards. I don't know here in Iowa in the Midwest. Uh, I don't know. People, I guess, don't seem to care as much about films coming from people from Iowa. Now that could be not true, but I don't know. It's 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 like. You do what you can to make the project sound enticing to people, and yeah, I don't know. It's haven't had much luck in that department. Um, so doing something like this on my own would be really me trying to explain the projects to all of you who watch, be it who are subscribed to me, uh, people who see it through the various. Uh, groups and communities and social media that I am a part of because um, really uh, the projects are like I'll just give a little thing one is uh, one of the movies is about a drug addict and an alcoholic trying to make themselves a lot better uh, better themselves get clean and all that that's the gist of one film and the other film is Somebody who has gotten themselves in a situation that could get them jail time, but they meet somebody who 
helps them out and gives them another chance to basically better themselves, you know. Um, and, uh, granted, those, those, what I just said, sound very generic, like some other movie, you know. But, um, I have, I believe I've constructed something that's a bit different than what the typical kind of uh, story that those two, or stories, I should say, because they're two movies, that those mo that those kind of plots would go through, go, or be in, or whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying now. But basically, they're different. They're done differently. Um, some of the people act differently, depending on the situation or the tone of the film. But there's reasons behind that, you know. People know them, you know, why they're doing what they are doing, and trying to better themselves. Some people might have been through similar situations, or known people in this kind of situation before, and all that kind of stuff. And I have um, sent, it, uh, sent my scripts to a couple of friends of mine who, they do say they like it, and these people also want to be a part of what I'm doing, what the movies I get off the ground. And they have given me, you know, uh, constructive criticism, which is always appreciated. Like, like they think, like, one, like a, the general consensus is they feel it's a good, they're good stories, but, like, some of the dialogue, while, while it's good, it could flow a little bit better. That's just one example. Like the dialogue could flow a bit better, um, which is good. You know, I could just take a relook at uh, that and uh, fix it up best I can. So when it comes down to film, um, you know, uh, things will work like clockwork essentially. And um, so that's the first thing with the whole not being super successful regarding being a part of a crowdfunding of a film before wasn't super successful there and on something I had no you know involvement with regarding to the directing of it you know so that's one thing the second thing is if I would go through with this what could I offer you what could I offer you, the people who would see this? Perhaps based off of what I just said, because I just gave a little line, because I'm like, you know, when I would do this, the pitch of the thing, if I do so, you know, um, basically two films where people are bettering themselves and are in different situations, because um, these uh, two films, you know, I want there to be more of a positive message, because there's many movies nowadays are very, um, dark or bleak looking and I don't know, why not you try and write something that has a, a bit more positivity more outlook uh, of an outlook that's a lot better that even in situations of darkness you can always come out you know if you really have the perseverance and have the drive the will to better yourself you know you can't just rely on other people to do it for you, you have to do it yourself too. But you know, with all that said, if that does sound enticing to you, what could I offer you? Because in terms of a reward, you know, I could, you know, put everyone's name who donated, well, special thanks to all these people because, you know, they donated money to get the films uh, made. Um, Other is, you know, like, well, I, I don't know how to draw, or I can't draw very well. I mean, I have drawn before, but I, I'm not very good at it. Um, my strong suit is uh, between that and uh, writing, is writing, I'm better at writing, you know. Uh, uh, I'm able to express myself a lot better writing something than drawing um 
unless you want to see a stick figure drawn by me, which if that's the case, and there you go. Donate a certain amount, I'll send you a stick figure drawing. I doubt many people are very interested in that, but you never know. Um, I guess posters could be a thing, and um, one of the guys who was involved with the project, the film I've been working on, um, you know, in the directors, he knows somebody who made a poster for their stuff, and uh, would be, uh, they would be, uh, they probably would be able to get me in contact with them, so on that basis, you know, X amount of dollars for a poster, um, and then from uh, there, keep going upward, um, I guess the biggest prize could be all that together, obviously, but also maybe like a Blu-ray DVD of the movie, once it's out there and released in the theater, because I would like it if these movies would be seen on the big screen, um, that's what I would like. Uh, that's, I think, the theater experience is the best kind of experience to see a a film. Uh, one is interested in, you know, first time seeing it. Uh, seeing it in a theater is the best place. Um, though I do know some people don't like to do that nowadays because of expensive, how expensive ticket prices and everything is. So. That is understandable. Um, also, could look into some streaming services after like such a theatrical run, even if it is limited. You know, it's always good <clears throat> to look at stuff like Amazon or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's another thing. Like, you know, what can I offer you? Mostly now, what I do on this channel is talk about movies. Talk about various movies I enjoy. I don't like to talk about movies I don't enjoy. Um, but maybe I could be like, you know, suggest a movie that you'd like me to talk about. And, you know, and, uh, a certain amount, I'm like, okay, okay, I've seen some of these movies. Some of these movies I haven't seen yet, but I can view them, you know. No problem, and, uh... I could just talk about uh, what I think of them. Now, exactly, I don't really review them. You know, I don't say, oh, it's a 10 out of 10 or 5.5 out of 10. You know, I don't give scores. I just talk about stuff I enjoy. Um, I could possibly do that, but I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, would you want to see two movies where... People are in positions uh, where they uh, better themselves. They are surrounded by people who want the best for them. They want them to succeed and do what they can to help them along the way on their journey of becoming better people. Um, would you like to see two films like that? And uh, another thing is like a uh, for the price wise. Um, of what the budget would be, um, I kind of thought like you know these movies could be made for twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars, but apparently I was also told by many people that if, if your movie isn't going to be anywhere from like a hundred thousand dollars at the very least, you don't even bother, don't even try. Which I'm like, particularly if you're trying to get investors involved, and I'm like, wouldn't it be? A bit safer to try and invest in a film that's about twenty-five or fifty thousand dollars than hundred thousand or more, you know, for an, a small independent film. And they say, "Well, you think so, but in the Hollywood business or film business—that's not how it works now." Which is uh, struck me a bit odd that you know they'd rather risk a losing money that costs like a hundred thousand dollars or more than a film that would cost like maybe twenty five or fifty thousand. So I guess for these films be a hundred thousand dollars a piece, which would be about uh two hundred thousand dollars then. Yeah. Maybe 
150? I don't know. But, you know, would you guys want to see such a big thing? You know, obviously, if uh, I do go through this, I will do my best to try and make the video not only sound enticing, but make it condensed into about, you know, five minutes or so. Um, but, you know, people also won't want to watch a video that's not more than five minutes. You know, people's ex attention span in terms of YouTube videos seem to be relatively smaller now than it, they used to be. You know, it's like, understandably, people are very busy, but still, it's like, you know, you see a video that might, that's interesting, or sounds interesting from the title or description and what you're hearing about it. Like, think about me thinking about crowdfunding a movie. Would you be interested? I don't know. Uh, would you? Would you be interested? And if so, what kind of rewards would you like for uh, donating a certain amount of money, like uh, $20 or 15 What What kind of prize do you think would be worth that, that I could give you? You know, after it's all said and done, and like, all right, the movie's out there, now to start sending stuff out. Or even before the movie is out, but it's finished. What can I do? Let me know. Uh, and I'd be very interested in uh, seeing uh, what you guys say. And uh, not many people do comment on videos. There are frequent people that do comment here and there. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say this as if. Uh, I do go through with the crowdfunding of this, but based off of my experience, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be super disappointed when it doesn't work as I'd hope. Um, so I just hope you guys can say if you would or not. Um, I've looked at various sites too, and, um, like Indiegogo, Kickstarter, stuff like that, so. What do you guys think? Do these plots sound interesting to you? Would you like to have something in particular that, despite my non-drawing uh, abilities, could give you? I don't know about if I could give a write a short story, because, you know, uh, I kind of... Uh, seem to compensate and write quite a bit, so I'm not saying I couldn't, but it would be a little a bit of a challenge for me because I'd have to condense whatever I would want into something a lot smaller. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I would like to know um, some of the groups I put out, I'm a part of on like Facebook. I don't know if I could really put this here. Because like this wouldn't really fit the Batman or the uh Batman or Star Wars groups that I've been a part of, but maybe horror, because I did talk about being part of a horror film. So I don't know. So then I'm gonna have to find a way to try and get this as too wide of an audience as possible. You know, I do have a, over 100 subscribers now, you know. And I have written a, a film that's like a psychological horror movie, but when, I look in, when I'm looking at that, you know, there's a lot I want, and it's not really a super small budget that would be gr seen great as a first film, you know. There's a lot of stuff that will be required that would cost a lot more than what I'm aiming for at the moment, which is at the very least, I guess, you know, $100,000. So, cost more than that, I know for sure. So, yeah. Anyway, I've kind of rambled on here and there, so 
I'll just leave it at that. And uh, would you, again, want to see these movies get made? What would you like as a reward? Aside from, you know, special thanks to so-and-so and all that. Um, you know, uh, it's really uh, all I have. So, until next time, uh, have a good day.